we are gonna get going. All right, everyone, good afternoon. We are back for week three of Mr. Tyler's Awesome Pet Programs. So we're gonna start out a little bit differently today because we had a couple of friends from Brunson that sent us questions. So we wanna answer those questions we had from last week. And then just like Mr. Tyler promised, he's got his other snake that everyone was so interested in last week. We have that snake here today. So we're gonna start with some questions for Mr. Tyler. So first question that we got from our friend at Brunson, Mr. Tyler, it came in from Alexis and she wanted to know, does a pattern on a snake mean anything? Yes, so several different snakes have different patterns on their um, skin. So Rose, which we met last week, has a very dark and brown pattern which helps her camouflage other snakes like can't copperheads and the one we're going to meet in a minute have patterns that help them camouflage too but there's also some kind of snakes like corn snakes and coral snakes that have brighter patterns that help them stand out and coral snakes are venomous so that pattern kind of says hey watch out i might bite you and you're gonna get hurt so the different patterns on different snakes do mean different things. That's a good question. Awesome. Thank you for sending in that question, Alexis. Our next question came from Zoe at Brunson. She wanted to know, can the same kind of snakes have longer tails or shorter tails, or are the snakes' tails different sizes for the different kinds of snakes? So the answer to that is actually both. So Different ball pythons have different lengths of tail depending on how long they are, full length, and how old they are. And different snakes, species, have different lengths of tail. So we talked about how Rose's tail is only about that long, and Bolt, who we're going to meet in a minute, his tail is about that long. Good questions, good questions. We had another question. Um, it was from Amina at Brunson. She wanted to know how big can anacondas get? So anacondas in the wild usually get about up to 15 feet, but the longest one they have ever seen in the wild was 30 feet long, which is huge. That is a big snake. And the last question we got from last week was, how big is the snake's head? Because I know we talked about how big the snake's tail is, but what about its head? So their head starts right here. So you can see that she's very head shy. She doesn't like her head being messed with. But right behind her head is where her neck starts. So her head is only about that long. Now on Bolt, it's harder to see. She has more of a triangular head, so you can see her head a lot easier. But on Bolt, his head is about the same size as his neck. So it really just depends on how long their skull is and you can kind of tell where it starts and ends but it's really hard but we'll try and see on bolt awesome so that wraps up questions from last week thank you guys for sending those in so now mr tyler is going to move and show us our new snake for this week if you are excited put your hands in the air and wave them like you just don't care yeah they are excited i am excited too so Real quick before we switch to the other tank, this is Rose's tank that we talked about last week. You can see she has the really big water bowl like we talked about and the heat lamps and it's really big. But another thing I didn't talk about was that on snakes, you have to make sure they have some kind of lock on them because she can crawl up and push her way out. So with that lock, the lid cannot move. So on Bolt's tank, bear with me, we're going to move to the other side of the room. On Bolt's tank, this is Bolt, on his tank, he has a hinged lid, and on each side are these clips that stay on the tank to make sure he doesn't get out. Because if he were to get out, he could get into the air vents and get away very, very quickly. Now, just like Rose, he has a very large water dish in his tank that he can coil up in when he's shedding. He also has a heat lamp, which is really hot, but he is more of a burrower. So he likes to dig down under his shavings and hide. So let me see if I can find him. There he is. Now, as 
as I told you guys last week, Bolt is a California king snake. Now, he doesn't look like all California king snakes because he was actually bred for his color. And his color has changed um, from most natural California king snakes. And I'll talk about that in just a minute. But Bolt is a grumpy old man. He's not as friendly as um, Rose is. So when I get him out, he might not be as nice as Rose. So we won't be able to see him for very long, but we'll see how he does. Come here, buddy. I know. Hello. Did you just give me the yell? So this is Bolt. He is a California king snake. As you can see, he's very jumpy. And if you look closely, you can see his tail flicking back and forth really, really fast. That's pretty much telling me, I don't want to be messed with. Why are you holding me? Leave me alone. So he has never bit me before. He's never struck at me. But he just doesn't like being held very much. Now, when snakes don't like being held, they'll do what's called musking. And you can see my hand. He secretes this little, like, liquid all over my hand that smells really, really bad. And it stinks right now. It's a good thing you're on the other side of the camera. You can't smell it. But it smells really bad, and it's basically to tell people to get away from me. Stay away. So, Bolt, uh, Bolt is a little older. He's a lot older. As you can see, he's much longer than Rose was. But he grew up in a house where he didn't get handled very much because his old owners were scared of snakes and didn't like snakes very much. So he didn't get handled very much. So he isn't used to being held and being um, out of his tank. So it takes him a little while to calm down, but then he'll calm down. Now, because of how angry and grumpy he is, he does not come to school with me very much. He stays here at the apartment and stays in his tank most of the time. And he chills there. But he likes to burrow a lot. And what's really funny is these two tanks are actually in my bedroom. This is my bedroom that we're in right now. And these two tanks are right beside my bed so that we can, if friends come over that don't like snakes, we can just close the bedroom door and they don't have to come back here and be near them. But Almost every night when we're sleeping and when we wake up in the morning and we roll over and we look at Bolt, he's got holes in his bedding at different places. And all you will see in the whole entire area, whole entire cage, is his little head popping up. That's it. Just his little head. You'll see from here back of his head popping up. And... He's just peeking out to see what's going on, see who's doing what, and all. Um, now, this morning, I actually let Rose out and let her explore around, and they were looking at each other through the tank, but I don't do that very often. Now, a little bit about Bolt. He is a California king snake. If you look up California king snakes on the web, their stripes are normally down their body. They have stripes kind of like a... Um, coral snake. Um, they're usually about this color. Now he is what's called a striped morph um, or a straight striped morph. And that means that his lines actually run down the back of his body. So he's called Bolt because it looks kind of like he has lightning bolts down his back. Now he gets and eats about two mice every week. He's a very, very hungry boy. He loves his mice and will eat them pretty quick and pretty good. But um, he does have to have a very powerful heat lamp. What he'll do is he'll come out and he'll lay on top of his egg carton and he'll heat up there. So he's doing a lot better than he normally does. Normally he's trying to get away super, super bad, but he's actually being pretty calm right now and being pretty nice. So I think we're going to turn it back over to Miss Shelby so that we can have some questions. All right. Awesome. So I know you guys had a lot of questions about this snake last week. So we're going to take some of those questions. Um, I'm going to start with my friends over at the gym at Brunson. 
Let's see if we can pick one of our friends there to ask a question. And make sure you speak up loud because we can't hear you if you don't talk loud. Can both eat a hamster is the question. What was that question? Can both eat a hamster? Ooh, did you hear that, Mr. Tyler? So he probably could not. Most hamsters are too big. What they can eat is about one and a half the body width of their body. So he could eat something about that wide. Um, so he gets some mice that are about that wide right now. And he normally gets about two of them. Now, snakes, a lot of people think that snakes can unhinge their jaw. Now, raise your hand if you've heard that before that they just unhook their bottom jaw and that's how they get their mouth around bigger prey. That's kind of true and kind of not. They actually have another bone back here that mammals don't and other reptiles don't that actually hinges their jaw down to make it bigger. So they can eat things that are bigger than their head, but not too much bigger. That, that was, was a really good question. question. Yeah, awesome. We're gonna pop over to Piney Grove. Do we have any questions at Piney Grove? All right, let's go with my friend in the pink shirt that's got her hand up. Does Rose or Bolt play together at the same time out of their tanks? No, so they will never be together outside of their tanks because I'm afraid that this grumpy old man might bite Rose and might try and attack Rose and I just don't want Rose getting hurt. Awesome. All right, let's put those hands up. I see some questions at Brunson in the classroom. All right, my friends at Brunson in the classroom. Um, let's see, my friend in the blue collared shirt that's sitting a little bit in the back in the center. How old is your big snake? How old is your biggest snake? So this is Bolt, he is my biggest. We believe that he's about two or three years old. With us having rescues here at the apartment, we aren't sure how old any of them are, for sure, because we didn't get them when they were born, um, except for the rats. We do know exactly how old they are. But we're not sure exactly how old he is or how long. He actually had two owners before him, um, so we don't know exactly how old he is. But we think around two or three years old. All right, awesome. Morgan, do you guys have any questions at Morgan? All right, I see my friend in the front has a question. Let's get that question. What's your question? Um, does he go fast? Does he go fast? Does he what? Go fast. Does he go fast? He does. He moves very, very quickly. When I go to put him back in Ottawa, you'll see him disappear under the shavings super quick. He is a very fast snake. Um, and that's why I don't him out on the ground very often because I'm afraid of him getting loose. All right, let's pop back over to the gym at Brunson. Um, let's see, my friend in the pink sweater in the front, what is your question? Yep, you in the front. Why is he called a king snake? Why is he called a king snake? Does anyone remember that from last week? Because I know Mr. Tyler did cover that. Who remembers why? Let's pop back to you guys at Brunson. Can anyone remember why? Because he eats other snakes. Mr. Tyler, was that right? That is correct. Any snake that has the word king in its name sometimes eats other snakes. Good job. Really good job, you guys remember. Let's hop over to Piney Grove. Do we have another question at Piney Grove? Uh, my friend in the Batman shirt in the back. Say that for me one more time. What color eyes is the snake right What color eyes does he have? So if you look really closely, he's got black eyes. Good question. Do other snakes possibly have different color eyes or are they always black? That I am not sure. As far as I know, um, most are black, but I have never researched to see if other snakes have different color eyes. So they might, but I'm not positive. Cool. All right, Brunson Classroom. I know we had some hands up there. 
Um, let's see. Let's go with my friend that's sitting in the chair in the black shirt. Yeah. How does he move so fast? Look. Oh, like the can we get that question repeated a little bit louder? Yes, his muscles make him move fast. Oh, did we hear that one, Tyler? I did not. Do his muscles make him move fast? Yes, so he is not as fat as you can see as Rose, which we talked about last week was because Rose was mostly muscle. Now, in um, king snakes, their body's very skinny and slender but long which allows them to move in and out of things really really fast and whip their body back and forth to be able to move so exactly they have a little bit of muscle but all that muscle is used to make them move not to constrict their prey like ball pythons well all right i'm seeing a lot of hands up in the gym at brunson so let's get a question from uh, my friend in the blue shirt on the side Can you repeat that a little bit louder? How long can he get? So Bolt right now is about four foot long. Um, he's about four foot to four and a half foot long. He's not gonna let me stretch him out because um, of it. Well, there you go. He's letting me stretch him out a little bit. But he's about four and a half foot long. He'll grow up to be about five to six feet long. Um, so he has a little bit of growing still left to do, but not a whole bunch. Good question. Good question. All right, let's take one more question. Our last question is going to come from, let's go back to Morgan. We haven't been to you guys in a while. Do we have any, oh, we got one question at Morgan. Okay, buddy. It is all yours. You're going to ask our last question for today. Ray, what's your question? How do we get up in the water and um, get all the water. How does he get in and out of the water? Is that your question? Yes. Awesome. Okay. That's a good question. So his water bowl, I know you couldn't really see it very well over there, but it's actually got an angle so he can go up it and he can crawl up it and then coil up in his water bowl. He also likes to dig under it and hide underneath it as well. Awesome. Those are some great questions, you guys. And just like last time, if you have more questions, just have your teacher send them to me and we can get them answered at the beginning of next week's episode. But let me know, did you guys have fun today? Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. So just like always, what do we say to Mr. Tyler? Thank you. Thank you. And does Mr. Tyler have anything for us? I have one last thing that I forgot to tell you guys. So Last week we were talking about with um, Rose that she doesn't shed very well, that her um, scales shed in patches because she didn't have a big enough water bowl. Bolts sheds very, very well. So this is a bolt he, I mean, a shed he did about a week to two weeks ago. And it's complete from his head all the way down to the tip of his tail. So... But that's all I have. Wow. Well, again, thank you so much, Mr. Tyler. And for you guys, I will see y'all tomorrow. Mr. Tyler will see you guys next week with his next special pet. Thank you, guys. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Bye.